I had an issue with the Razer Viper Ultimate uh, where the left back mouse button wasn't working. And I discovered that if I press very, very firmly with one hand around where my thumb is, and then I would press the button that it would work. Um, so I just took a, the end of a screwdriver and I kind of struck the mouse with a moderate amount of force around here as well as around this top part just with the with the bottom of the screwdriver I just kinda gave it the good old Indian trick and that seems to have uh, freed it up whoops so hopefully this helps somebody out there as a side note I've had a lot of issues with this mouse uh, another one being the stock most of the time doesn't work you have to have this thing positioned pretty precisely on this some people say if they unplug this and plug it back in and then play with these that that helps I haven't that you really doesn't seem to do much for me so for example if I put the put the mouse there uh, well see that time it worked but uh, a lot of the time I have to have it positioned pretty precisely in order for it to charge let's see so you can see if I if you kind of drop the mouse on there um, if it were making contact it would be charging so if you kind of poke this up a bit. I have to sort of hold it there with my finger in order for it to charge. Um, so sometimes if I'm lazy and I don't want to unplug this cord, um, I might flip it over and then I might adjust this charger and kind of get a, you know, quickly like balance it before I walk away. Um, a lot of the time, even, even then, it'll only charge for a few minutes. So usually I end up just charging it with this cable so for that that's another issue that i've had with this mouse um another issue that people talk about a lot is uh the mouse buttons tend to creak this middle mouse wheel creaks a lot if if i just sort of put some pressure on there you kind of feel a little bit of a plastic rubbing plastic same thing with the right mouse button because uh typically you know you'll contact it on the right side um, and over time, inside there's a there's a piece of plastic internally that will contact another piece of plastic, and if residue builds up around those two touch points, it'll have a, a bit of a uh, unpleasant friction feeling. Um, mine seems to be okay. Sometimes it happens, uh, but people have videos about how you can take these feet off um, and then apply some um, and and then clean the inside. But so for that reason, I would say for, for $150, it's a little bit, a little bit disappointing. It's a great mouse when it works, but um, I am s sort of disappointed at the number of issues that I've had with with the mouse, particularly this dock. Um, so it's my two cents. <clears throat>